When I first started this channel, I used to bang on about Uniqlo selling the best affordable basics out there, but I actually haven't bought from them in well over a year, and I've heard mixed reviews about the quality since. So in this video, we're going to find out for ourselves, do Uniqlo still sell the best quality affordable basics, or are you better off spending your money elsewhere? And I decided to pick up the pieces that I used to buy from them most regularly because I know those pieces best, so it only seems fair. And just for reference, I'm about six foot and I've got a 30 inch waist. And I picked up everything in this video, and I mean everything in this video, in a size medium. If you like this video at any point or if it helps you out, please feel free to drop it a like. And now that's all out the way, let's get into the video. So what should we start with first? I'm thinking t-shirts first. And why not start off with one of my old favorites, the UT. I remember this t-shirt having a bit of a boxy fit. It was more on the heavyweight side as well, which I used to prefer at the time over more lightweight tees. But let's see what we're dealing with now. So from first impressions, the t-shirt feels noticeably thinner and it feels a lot more rough than it used to. I know it was always quite rough feeling, but this definitely feels rougher. It feels like it would kind of rip more easily. I don't know how else to explain it. So not a great first impression, but let's look at the fit. So on body, the t-shirt feels a lot slimmer than it used to, even though it might not look like it on camera. The hem at the bottom of the t-shirt feels a lot tighter around my waist, and yeah, the whole thing just feels more restrictive. The sleeves still fit exactly the same as they used to from what I remember, and the neck still has that nice chunky ribbed neckline to it, which I used to really like. But yeah, I really don't like the way this feels while wearing it. Maybe it'll soften up after a few washes. I always remember this t-shirt being quite rough, but this definitely feels a lot more rough than it used to. All in all, I think the quality's gone downhill, it's not as comfortable, and it does feel a lot more restrictive, so I will be sending this one back. So we're not off to a good start here. Okay, I've had enough of rough textures for a bit, so let's soften things up and try out their Supima cotton tee next. I remember years and years ago, this t-shirt used to cost, I think it was a fiver, and it had a really good fit. So it was a great t-shirt for the price. They then changed the fit for the worse, and the quality did go downhill in my opinion. I did read the other day on the Uniqlo website that someone said they had improved on the t-shirt, but it wasn't back to the standards that it used to be before they changed it in the first place. So let's see for ourselves. So from first impressions, it feels a lot less soft than I remember. It doesn't feel bad, but I remember being really impressed with how soft this t-shirt felt. After a few washes, it did lose its softness anyway, but yeah, if this one's already not as soft, then it might wash even worse. I also feel like this t-shirt used to feel thicker. It was never heavy weight, but it was definitely thicker. But what about the fit? So the first thing that I noticed from the fit is the neckline isn't as wide as the last time I picked one of these up, but it's not as snug fitting as it was when these were at their best. That being said, I don't mind the neckline. Sometimes I like a slightly wider neckline. It gives off a different look. I'd say the fit is slightly on the more relaxed side and overall, it's not a bad fit. And if it stays like this after multiple washes, then I definitely wear it. The thing I'm not happy about with this t-shirt is the price. It's now £14.90 and this t-shirt used to cost £5. So it's triple the price and nowhere near as good as it used to be. But putting the good old days aside, and if I didn't have the older models to compare this to, then would I still spend £15 on this t-shirt? No, I don't think I would. For £15, there's a lot better options out there, so I'd save my money and put it towards something else. Next up, we've got a long sleeve waffle t-shirt, and this comes in at £19. So for the price, I think that's pretty fair for what you're getting, as long as it's what I'm expecting. Now, I remember the quality on these being really good, but the fit was just a little bit off for me. They were a bit too long for my liking. So I picked this one up in an army green colorway because I don't have anything in that color, and I thought it would look great in the autumn. So hopefully it's a decent piece so I can wear it then. Straight out the bag, again, it feels thinner than I remember. So there seems to be a common theme here. Now don't get me wrong, it doesn't feel bad. It just doesn't feel as good quality as it used to. But let's try it on. Okay, so with the fit, the problem I had with the older waffle tees is they were too long. Well, this one doesn't have that problem. I really like the length on this. This piece would work perfectly as a standalone piece and you could just as easily wear it underneath a jacket or a coat. So it's definitely going to be a versatile piece. It's got some splits on the hem, which adds some nice detail. And it's got cuff sleeves as well, which I really like too. So I actually think these would look better with a pair of black trousers. So let's get a pair on. So there we go. And yeah, I think it looks a little bit better. But although I'm liking this piece, 
Is it better than it used to be? Well, yes and no. The quality isn't as good as it used to be, but the fit is a lot better, so not all bad. So would I recommend this piece? Yes, I definitely would and I'd happily wear it too. But now let's try out one of their basic sweatshirts. Now I used to have a black simple sweatshirt from Uniqlo that I used to wear all the time. It felt really nice, it fit quite nicely as well, and yeah, it was a decent piece for the price. But are their sweatshirts still gonna be the same quality as they once were? I haven't got high hopes, but let's have a look. So like everything else on this list, it's noticeably thinner than it used to be. So whether that's a good thing for you or a bad thing, I'll leave that up to you but let's see how it fits. So the fit on this, I actually quite like. It's got a slightly more crop length in the body, which I normally go for with my sweatshirts these days, whereas the older models didn't have that so much. So that's a nice change. It also has a very slight drop shoulder. And when I say very slight, I mean very slight. I like a more exaggerated drop shoulder on my sweatshirts, but this is designed to have a standard fit, so I can't really complain. So for this one, the fit is decent, the quality isn't what it used to be, but if you're looking for a more lightweight sweatshirt, then this isn't a bad option. So shall I do the overshirt next or a pair of trousers next? I think I'm gonna do the overshirt. So this overshirt from the pictures looks like it could be slightly too oversized for my liking, but I haven't tried an overshirt out from Uniqlo for ages, so I wanted to try one out. So first impressions, the quality and the thickness actually feels really nice on this piece. So a nice change from the other items in the video. And this comes in at £39, which I think is a really good price for what you're getting. But let's see how it fits. So it does fit a little bit too oversized for my liking, but not as much as I thought it would. And it's actually a really solid piece. It's quite a heavyweight piece, but it does have some give to it. It's a little bit stretchy, so yeah, it's quite comfortable. As you can see, it's got a front pocket on the chest, which is functional. I don't know what I keep in there, but it looks good and it has got two side pockets as well, which you don't often see on an overshirt. So if you're looking for a more affordable workwear jacket slash overshirt, and you like that more boxy and relaxed fit, then this is a good piece to go for. Next up, we've got a pair of the ankle length smart trousers. Now I remember liking the idea of these back in the day, but for me, they were a bit too shapeless. They did have a taper down towards the ankle, which I like, but they were a bit too straight fitting. But these are 35 pounds, so a great price for a pair of trousers, but let's have a closer look at them. So straight out the bag, these feel exactly the same as I remember. They've got a decent thickness to them and they have got a bit of stretch to them, so they are gonna be very comfortable. I picked these up, I think they were called a dark gray, but they actually look a little bit gray brown and I thought the color looked really interesting, so that's why I picked them up. But let's see how they fit. So yeah, these fit exactly the same as how I remember. They are too straight fitting for my liking and I think the thing that I didn't like is when my knee bent, they kind of bellowed out in the thigh area a bit. And yeah, it just didn't work for me. But if you normally like a more straight fitting trouser and you normally wear a more straight fitting trouser, then these might work for you. So the size medium said they fit a size 30 waist to a size 33 inch waist. And I do find the waist a bit too big for me. They do have drawstrings though, so they're not gonna fall down. But I think when a waist of a pair of trousers is a little bit too big, it can look a bit sloppy. So I think these would fit a size 32 or a 33 inch waist a lot better. I think the problem with a size small, I've done it before with Uniqlo trousers, is when I sized down, they were too tight round my thighs. So I did have a problem with them. But yeah, for me, nothing has changed with these trousers. If you liked them back then, then you're still gonna like them now. And they have got some nice colorways out there. And if you don't wanna spend a lot on a pair of simple crop trousers, then these are definitely a solid option. I think because I spend quite a lot of money on my trousers, I have got some really nice fitting pairs that I'm comparing these to. So the time has come. Are Uniqlo Basics still the best basics out there for the price? Well, after this haul, I'd say it's debatable. They have definitely improved in some areas, like with the fit on some of the pieces, but the quality has gone downhill in my opinion and the prices on a lot of their pieces has gone up too. I hope they up their game soon, but for me, for the time being anyway, I'd prefer to spend my money elsewhere. But how do you feel about Uniqlo at the moment? Do you agree with me? Let me know in the comments. But I hope you liked this video. If you did, please do leave it a like. If you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe and I will see you all next week. Thank you so much for watching everyone. See you later.